Yo, beast mode, I go beast mode. Left, right, hook, then I reload. Speed until the E breathe slow. Connect every uppercut, clean blow. It's Chris Williams here for Southport Jab, Team Southport Jab member, former WBC silver middleweight champion, yep. history maker, the current super weight IBO champion, and because you are a history maker, the first Scottish woman to win a world title, and the first member of tech Team Southport Jab, we've got you a little present. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Oh, that's awesome. So I've got two belts. I guess my face on it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Check it out. It's going to join the rest of them at home. That's wicked. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, so back to the important stuff now. Yep. Uh, we are with Team Southport Jabs world champion, Hannah Rankin. Um, but we haven't actually spoken to you since you won the world title. So uh, how did that feel, winning a world title at home? I mean, I don't think anything really compares to, like, you know, fighting at home. It's one of the best feelings in the world. But also... It comes with extra stresses, you know, your, your family and your friends are all there, it's where you grew up, you know, you want to do really well for your, like, you know, for everybody that's there, and everybody knows you, so, yeah, it comes with stresses, but to be, win a world title at home and make history for my own country was something really special, and I, something I'll never be able to, I think, top, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, very happy, very proud. It was... Um Against Sarah Curran, yep. who uh, gave you a bit of trouble, but you managed to execute second game plan, third game plans, things like that. Was, um, was her style a little bit different to what you were prepared for? No, I think we were, we were prepared for her being very active in the ring, moving around a lot. Um, she switched a lot more than we were expecting. But, you know, we, we had another game plan for that, so we got the job done in the end. But, you know, it's a great experience, great learning to go in against someone who's a switch hitter, who's got fast feet on the outside like that, and who's a lot shorter than me, you know? So it was always, it was really good. But um, I'm glad we got the job done, and, uh, yeah, no, very proud. Not only being a history maker and winning the world title, being the first Scottish uh, female boxer to win a world title, was you not the first British female to headline a TV card? Yes, I was. Um, I was really, really happy that the BBC picked up the fight. Um, it was great that they broadcast it. We had an amazing turnout of people watching it. We were up in the tens of thousands. So I'm incredibly proud for that. And yeah, it's great to make history as that because, you know, it's, women need to be up there headlining shows and actually getting the TV time so people can see what we're capable of and, what, and all the hard work that we put in because, you know, there's, I've had done fights abroad uh, when I fought Alicia Napoleon and we fought for the super middleweight world title. Um, they just turned the cameras off before that fight and it was dubbed the best fight you never saw. And it was probably the most, ex it was the most exciting fight on the card, having watched the rest of the card, um, <laughs> waiting to go on stage, so, on, in the ring, sorry. Um, so, yeah, like, to get the opportunity to showcase what we're capable of, that was uh, fantastic. Amazing. You're getting used to those lights now, the TV lights. Yeah. And you've had that fight, obviously, Alicia's fight wasn't on TV, but you fought Calusa Shields, you were on Sky Sports yep. for that one, you were on BBC. You've had a fight since in the States yep. under your new promotional team. How was that? Oh, it was amazing. So I'm really, really proud to have signed with Salita Promotions. They're one of the top female promoters. In fact, the top female promoter. Um, to work with Demetrius Salita is great. Um, also working with Mark Taffet, who manages Carissa as well. Um, so it's great to be working with people who are so pro-women's boxing and helping us to really push forward and get the recognition that we deserve. Um, I fought a six-rounder against Erin Toho. Uh, on the uh, on that card over in Flint, Michigan, and yeah, one of my best performances. I dominated and won every single round. So yeah, really pleased and looking forward to more fights over in America under the Salita Promotions banner. So Erin Tohill, she's uh, she's uh, fought probably what people would consider the greatest woman of all time in uh, Leanna Ali. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like sharing someone who's been in the ring with someone as prolific as? I think it was, you know, a real example of like veteran versus like young, new upcomer, um, you know, newcomer to the sport. Um, great, you know, a lot of respect between both teams. Fantastic to go in against someone like that and good experience for me, you know. Um, she's very experienced in the boxing world, also experienced in MMA 
and I think she's also a gladiator. So I think that's a little bit of interesting history about her. So she's she's been involved in combat sports, and to share the ring with someone like that uh, was great. You know, really a great experience for me. Yeah, I did read that she was a American gladiator. That's a quite a unique thing for someone to have. Um, there was a bit of controversy before the fight cards at the weigh-ins. Um, did you see anything that happened there with Clarissa's uh, alleged brother and um, Ivana's uh, coach? Yes, so it was uh, everything been going really, really well uh, up until the lead up to that. And uh, on the day of the weigh-in, there was a bit of an altercation prior to the official weigh-in. So whenever all boxers know when you get there, you want to check the scales to make sure you're on weight. So Clarissa turned up to check scales. Um, and Ivana's coach Bashir went to go and see what Clarissa was on scales. Now, in my opinion, he had no right to be up there. Um, this is a pre-official weigh-in, so it caused, obviously caused some angst, and there was an argument between Clarissa's sister and Bashir, and then there was a lot of uh, words said at that point and arguments. Anyway, it was broken up, and then later on, uh, like, so I was standing there with my team, and. I'm really lucky to be sponsored by a company called Pinnacle Protection. Um, they, they're our first American sponsor and they're a um, security team. So whenever I'm in America, I have security that look after me, take me places and look, just make sure I'm all okay. And before I knew it, my team, Dalton, he was taking me out, um, Greg and Dalton, they were taking me out of the, the main venue, straight into the ice hockey arena. And someone came in and sucker punched the back of um, Obama's coach's head, knocked him out cold, he hit the deck. Um, obviously he was out when he hit the floor and it gave him a, I think he damaged his jaw, had to have surgery, uh, damaged his teeth and uh, Ivana went straight to hospital with him. Obviously the fight was cancelled immediately. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was a very, very stressful scenario and actually after that, you know, it, we all were, weren't sure if the show was going to go ahead. So it's a... If I'm looking back on it now, it's a great experience for me because having to deal with all those stresses before an actual fight and then the fight going ahead, you know, I was really actually pleased with how well I performed, all things considered. But obviously, really glad to hear that Bashir is um, out of hospital now um, and on the mend, even though it's really quite a scary situation. Um, Ivana's, I've been speaking to Ivana about it, um, so really very happy that he's well, or he's getting better anyway. Um, but yeah, so the fight never happened and the whole main event was cancelled, which was really quite sad and very stressful. At least you got to still fight. If yeah. you're going to take silver lining from it, you still got to make your debut under Salia Corrosion, yep. which is good. Um, you are a sparring partner for both Ivana and Clarissa. Um, what was your feelings going into the fight, how it would have played out anyway? Um, so I feel that having, you know, I've, in the week before that, I was in Florida and I was uh, sparring with Carissa, uh, prepped for my fight as well. Um, both of us were sparring and uh, I think it would be, you know, an exciting fight, another exciting one. Um, you, can ne you can never tell what's going to happen. I'm, I wasn't sure what Ivana's game plan was for the fight, so I'm not really sure where it would have gone. But my feelings are that I think... Carissa would have been too strong. Like she made, she was going to make the weight easy, um, and everyone thought she would struggle to make the weight, but she made it. Um, and I think actually, you know, as soon as she rehydrated and stuff, she's going to be big again in the ring. So I think that might have caused Ivana some problems because I think Ivana was uh, feeling she was under the weight. So you know, it, I I think she would have been too strong. But you never know. I suppose boxing things change all the time. So. I, as I know both of them, I'm staying very neutral on the subject. <laughs> so, looking forward, we're only a week away from that last fight and you're already back in the gym. Does that mean you've got a fight lined up already? Oh yeah, I do. Um, I'm headlining a show in Malta on the 27th of November. It's, uh, I'm very excited, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. It's been in the diary um, and I can't wait to get out there. Um, I can't tell you what it's all for just yet, but that is to be announced very, very soon. And uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting, definitely. Okay, well, we look forward to hearing what that's all about then. Yep. Um, also, a camp at home for, like, you stay at home. Noel's told us that. Yep. Um, is that nice that you're not going to have to jump on planes to travel and stuff like that? To be honest, I love traveling. I, I love going different places. Uh, you meet so many different people. There's so many different styles of boxes out there. And, you know, like, I really enjoy that. but. 
this one, it's going to be good to be at home having just come back from America and all the kind of running around. I'm actually quite looking forward to being here. Obviously, I'm based here in Churchill's. Uh, love this gym. So it's kind of like my home. So it'll be nice just to prep for that. And then we'll go out to Malta just beforehand. And it's not that far that I have to worry about, you know, going on a long flight or anything. So, yeah, no, it's going to be good. It's going to be good just to be settled for a little bit. So we, we, we spoke about earlier about how you've been making history and uh, breaking down the doors like you were the first female as a headliner TV card. Um, how does it feel to be one of the um, the benchmark people, one of the first to do all these things for the female code in the UK? Oh, I'm so proud to like you know be up there for that. It's it's definitely sort of. It comes with its kind of responsibility as well. You know, I've got quite a lot of younger fighters uh, asking me questions about things, and you know, uh, and, and to be a kind of a role model for those people is like that's a responsibility. You, you want to be making a good impression, and it's why I work so hard in the gym, and why I always work so hard before one fight night because I want people to look and see that this is a possibility for women in the sport. You know, you can come through, and yeah, there's opportunities for us now to go and succeed and do what the guys are doing. Um, and the money's not there yet, we're, we're still working on that and the exposure's getting there, but to be at the forefront of that is, is amazing. And uh, yeah, I know it's, I'm quite proud to be there for that, for sure. Um, gonna go on to one of your former sparring partners who's uh, already won a world title eliminator, but he's going for a second one in a uh, higher weight class in Chantel Cameron. Yep. Um, all things good, she gets through her, her final eliminator for the super lightweight WBC title. Um, what belt do you think she should go for? Uh, Jessica McCaskill's or Katie Taylor's? Take, take out the fact that Katie Taylor will be the bigger fight. Which one do you think she should go for to uh, get herself the, the green belt? So, first is first. I love Chantel. Her fight style is amazing. She's one of my favourite fighters to watch. Um, I think she's aggressive and an exciting fighter for women's boxing. Um, I think either of those fights are great. And I actually would tip Chantel. I'm going to say, I'm going to say she would beat Katie Taylor. In my personal opinion, I know that's very controversial, but I think, I think she's got something there. And I think she, she will beat Katie Taylor. I think Jessica McCaskill and her would be an epic fight. I really, really think it'd be a great fight. They're both aggressive styles, and I think it would just be an absolute barnstormer. So both of, like, I mean, both of those fights for her are so exciting and really exciting for women's boxing. So I mean, either or, either or, <laughs> definitely either or. Good way to sit on the fence there. Oh uh, yeah, but they're, they're both great fights for her, and she she has real real class, and I think it will come through for those fights. So. Uh, I think people should watch out. There's, there'll be some upsets, definitely. Upsets if you don't know. Yeah, upsets if you don't know. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Well, we know you're busy today, so we're not going to keep you for much longer. Um, it's been a while since we spoke to you, so is there anyone you want to thank for helping you get your IBO title shot, to thank about your fight in the States last week? It just go on and give them a big up. So, first and foremost, always would like to thank my coach Noel Callum. He's the kind of the quiet guy in the background that you don't see much about and um, he's not the most famous trainer but um, he's certainly doing great things for me. I'm now a world champion and you can't change that and we've worked incredibly hard to get to this point so massive thank you to him. Um, massive thank you to my whole team, uh, my manager Sam Kinnock, uh, my American manager Mark Taffet, um, obviously my new promoter Salita. Um, I think it, we have a really strong team uh, around us uh, as, a, as a whole and we've got great opportunities being set up for us. Special thank you to my cut man, Richard Farden. He's with me, he's been with me from day one from the very first fight to now and he's definitely part of the team and always takes great care of me. Um, huge thank you to all of my sponsors. Um, name a few, like Fresco Box to do all my nutrition, same for science and sport. Uh, special thanks to you guys, constant support, it's always great to have you here. You're always shouting out nice things about me, which is great. Um, and thanks to Sam at Churchill's uh, for letting us use the gym. It's definitely my home and I feel proud to train out of here and see some of the fights he's got coming through. So special thank you there. Um, thanks to the IBO for giving me the opportunity to fight for their belt. It's uh, been a real honour and I'm very proud to be an IBO world champion. So. It's, yeah, it's been a great opportunity for that. And 
who else should I remember? Oh, there's a few more that I should definitely remember. Oh yeah, the BBC for putting my fight on, uh, BBC Scotland. That was huge, and to headline a TV card, be the first British female to do that, epic. So yeah, massive, massive thank you to BBC Scotland for that. Right, well, thank you for the thank you. Um, you don't have to thank us, but thank you anyway. Um, great catching up, as always. Um, hopefully we'll talk to you again soon. We won't leave it as long this time. Oh, and thank you for my belt. Oh, well, you're very okay. welcome for that. Here we go. <laughs> I've got two now. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, Hannah, yeah, and we'll see on. you soon. Yeah, see you guys soon. Yo, beast mode, I go beast mode Left, right, hook, then I reload Speed until the E3 slow Connect every uppercut, clean blow